morning guys good morning good afternoon good <laughs> why is my wardrobe always coming in the way get off let me let me let me show you guys something by the way my company provided a wardrobe for me actually but guess who is contemplating on not taking it so let me let me show you hey this is the full wardrobe every cost that is involved in the mounting or the fitting of the wardrobe will be on the company my house for video i was actually serious when i said that i love the fact that my wardrobe is open so this wardrobe i specially use it for clothes that i have worn clothes that i have worn but i'm not yet thinking enough to be washed right. so, do me a favor please Get out of here. Basically, clothes that need some breeze to just touch it. That's what I put here. I already showed you guys where I put it on my clothing. You know, these are the ones that are fresher than you know, clothes for work and all of that purpose. So this is where I put all of them. Now getting to have an inbuilt wardrobe, you know, wood and all of that. I don't think it's the fitting the purpose of. I don't really know you guys. Let me know what you <laughs> let me know what you think. This is my decision to make. Let me show you guys what I just got now. So I went downstairs, I got this is like quarter. It's not even up to half of my monthly supply. I I'd love to get my monthly supply all at once, and I know that I'm not doing any major spending again. So I just got bread, I take next cafe. This is for like just a week. Got Indomie. This Indomie just for two days. Um, some eggs. And then of course my custard. And some sachet tomato. I want to make jello fries later. So the reason why I didn't get everything at once is because... The cost of fuel has gone up. Food and other prices have followed it guys things are too expensive inside this estate so i'm going to leave it till next tomorrow next tomorrow something very important is going to be taking me out of my estate my friend oyinechi if i watch the video shout out to you is coming into lagos and i'm going to be meeting up with her so i'm going to use that opportunity to fingers crossed get all of my monthly food supply okay so i just got these ones you know just just carry me for the short while till i'm able to get what i want to get outside you hey guys so one of the ways that i achieve the best look let me tell you when i say the best indomie in the whole world is actually the best I make use of non-stick pan. I make use of pan to make my indomie. But firstly, I want to fry the egg. Then I'm going to take you through the process for make my indomie. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My I actually like to break my indomie. So the water is hot now. Then I'll go ahead to put in the indomie. Put this onion. Curry. Things that I used to fry the egg. Kitchen glory. I would normally love to use red and yellow pepper mixed. But uh, it's not available now. So I'm making use of what I have which is Cameroon pepper. I have leftover oil after I fry the egg. Other than that, add oil. The main Indomie spice, I'll add half now. A little water, then cover. A few minutes later. At this point, I'm going to add the remaining noodle spice. Mmm! Guys, this is too good. Hi, 
I said that I'm I'm gonna do an intro in my next vlog and here I am about to forget to do that. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Abube Okoye. Rain just started falling and it's very sunny also like you guys. I'm off today. I'm not at work. As you all can see, I am chilling in my bed. I'm not bothered about oh let me go prepare for work i'm okay today that's the beauty of having an alternate day's job where you know like in a job where you work longer hours you get more paid so i rather work longer hours today that i'm at work so long as i have my the next day off and one of the one of the things that i've realized about having an alternate days is time flies more other than when you have to go to work every day for me now working alternate days that means in a month i'm working 15 days or 16 days depending on the the, the length of the month so and then i don't know i don't really know how it makes the month run fast but it just does that and i really love it so um I want to I want to share something with you guys. This is something that has really affected me a lot, you know, and I hear people talk about it quite a number of times. So what am I talking about? I am quite an overthinker, living in regret, wallowing in the past, no matter how far back the past is. Regret and beating yourself up. I found and I realized that it's really not worth it and. The most annoying part of it is that you cannot change it. You cannot redo what has been done. You cannot do anything about what has happened in the past. Because it's one thing that I have tried so hard to practice. And I see myself practicing now. And the pieces are matched. Whenever I, I start, you know, having those regrets and I start overthinking and all of that, I actually give myself time, okay? Process it, process the emotions. What should you have done differently? All of that lessons you're learning. But then the next thing that I do is I try to shake it off. Like, come on, it's happened, it's happened. There's nothing really I can do. Better days are ahead. There will always be a second chance for redemption. There will always be a chance for a do-over, right? So for things that you cannot change, come on, please. Don't wallow in regrets. And you can see yourself even... Some even for days you're still living in that thought of oh I should have done things differently I should have oh it doesn't change nothing just <laughs> just shake it off cut yourself some slack you're a human being you can't always get it all perfect so learn the lesson move on and hope for better days to apply the lesson that you've learned so yeah um this this has this has actually helped me to be you know to practice peace you know you are much at peace okay so let me tell you something else that i the other practical step is that i just say a brief prayer i rebuke that causes a spirit you see your imagination your thought process they are all spiritual and it's either you're manifesting the spirit of god which way you think and imagine things will be way different from any other spirit god has not given us a spirit that will make us to be anxious or to, or to worry but he said philippians 4 6 but in all things through prayer and supplication let your request be made known unto god a request for god to help you to deal with emotions okay so back to what i was saying one of the ways that i deal with that is that i just say a prayer and i rebuke that spirit of worry and anxiety because let me give you an, an instance so one very good day i came back from work after a long uh, after a long shift and i didn't feel so good about that day because you know the day was quite slow and then one of the if i i just didn't feel so good about that day i just felt like there is something that I should have done differently. I one thing about me is that I take my job seriously. Like I really do take my job seriously. All my all my employers have commended me on that. Like whenever I am employed to do a job, I do it like it's my job. Like 
I am the owner of the job. So I feel every emotion. I feel every dissatisfaction. I feel everything like it's mine. But the funny thing is that the, the, the person that actually has the business or the job may not may not even feel it as much as i'm feeling it do you get so that's where the overthinking is coming from just in case you don't know i am a pharmacist and i work in a retail pharmacy you know i suggest you go check out most of my videos at least you, you have a glimpse of my journey check them in the description box okay so yeah so um that particular day after a long uh, um long shift at work i came back to my residence and i was really trying to shake up the emotions you know talking to myself you know what <sighs> better days i ahead is fine just don't worry about it. there's there will always be more days for a do-over more days you know for something better a second will pass and i feel all right the next second and it was so bad that i i slept and i woke up in the middle of the night and my heart was racing and it was as if you know that voice that was speaking in my head oh i'm so dissatisfied i'm so dissatisfied heightened like you know sometimes you you feel that you're actually thinking about something whereas it's a voice that is speaking into your head and what you need to do at that moment is to rebuke that voice and which was what i did and i immediately i rebuke that voice you spirit of worry and anxiety i rebuke you i felt peace instantly like not magic and i'm there thinking like all the times that I actually just beat myself up, not even just even about work. In the past, it could even be like a, a difficult relationship between you and someone. You know, you feel betrayed, you feel hurt. You know, any kind of situation that will make you to overthink or over worry. Just like what I mentioned, a difficult relationship between you and someone and you find yourself thinking like, why would this person even talk to me like that? Why would this person even speak to me like that? Why would this person even behave like that? I thought this person was loyal to me or, you know, whatever the situation may be. And you find yourself thinking about something that you shouldn't be thinking about. Okay. And I start costing you your peace or you overthink, you overthink this a situation to the point that you unknowingly have given a wrong interpretation of a certain relationship. Like just like I mentioned, maybe a relationship that was shaking a little bit. And then you go on to give the situation a very abstract definition. And you see yourself concluding that, you know what, this person really hurt me and I'm never going to forgive this person. So... I used to do that a lot. Like I used to find it difficult to understand why people will piss me off or show a sign of disloyalty. I used to like not try to understand because at that point I'm overthinking like, for you to have done this, hmm, you are not a good person. No, no. A lot of those things will be going through my mind. And before you know it, I'm cutting that person off. I'm deciding I'm never going to speak to that person again. But what I've started doing is that whenever things like that happen i pray i pray to god to help me to forgive to help me to forgive because one thing about forgiveness is that you don't necessarily have to bring those people or that person that hurt you closer again you don't have to bring them back into your space but forgiveness is all about letting go of that burden in your heart it brings a fast solution for you that is what prayer and forgiveness does so it's one of the things that I've, I've i've practiced and it's quite helpful and i felt like really sharing you know so life is quite spiritual you're a spiritual being the way you think or the things you imagine are produced from the spirit man you would think that it's just your body thinking whereas it's a, it's a spirit actually thinking so you need to be in charge you need to be in charge of what you feed your, your spirit of what you allow your spirit to feel and take charge of of your life okay don't just allow situations or feelings or emotions to always overwhelm you be in charge of your emotions okay i hope you do subscribe share this video if if it helped you if you 
if you can relate to what i'm saying give it a thumbs up let me see your comments in the comment section let me know how you also deal with you know overthinking and emotions and all of that thanks for watching bye